So whenever you bring in shapes over here onto the drawing area, let's say I have this square right here and I'm going to go around and bring in a circle as well. So you can see that it is overlapping right here and let me just go around, bring in this cloud as well. So I'm just going to go around and then color each one of them as well so that you can see the difference. So this is what you have as you can see. So now over here you can see that the square is in the backmost area right here. Uh, whereas if I were to go around over here you can see that the circle is in the middle area while the cloud is on the top. So let's say if you want to go around and send the cloud backward right here then you can right click on the cloud right here and you can just go around and click on to back. So once you do that, what happens is that the cloud goes right at the back as you can see. So that is how you can go around and arrange out the shapes as you can see right here. You can also go around onto the arrange menu and you get the same option over here. So if I were to go around and click on bring the, to front, then it comes straight to the front as you can see right here. But if I were to go around onto arrange and click on, let's say for example, send backward, then it only goes one step back as you can see right here. You can go around over here and you can right click and you can go around, click on to front and it comes to front right here. So this is how you can go around and arrange out the shapes um, in different ways as you can see just like this. So that is how you can work around with shape arrangement options inside of diagrams.net. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.